Don't look now, but we have another news story about Farah Abraham being a spectacularly awful parent. Shocking, right? Just kidding, we talk about this kind of thing all the time because there's just so much content along such lines. It's actually depressingly normal, she starts off by clarifying that she does love her daughter, but goes on to say, so the point is I can repeat myself probably like 10 million times and then she still won't even know that I repeated 10 million times. Oh, she continues, and then she'll ask me again, what should she say? Can you repeat it again? Oh, and then be rude to me at the same time for wasting my time. It's just a really entertaining circle that I just don't entertain. It's really not that difficult to see what the issue seems to be here, is it? Like maybe a lot of the things she says doesn't make sense? We have a hard enough time deciphering what she says, we can't imagine what it must be like to be a child dealing directly with her on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course Sophia asks her to repeat herself all the time, she doesn't really have a choice. But just in case you thought that was Farah's only complaint, think again. Yep, she's got some more nonsense to get off her chest. And then after I spend probably till like 1am in the morning doing stuff for my child, she says, you know, then she'll forget, like, toilet paper in our bathroom. Oh, and then she'll forget towels that are cleaned for her. So then I gotta go walk them upstairs. So yes, she adds, it's been super entertaining. Another super obvious issue with all of this is, again, Farah is Sophia's only parent. She often doesn't have a close relationship with anyone in Farah's family, either. All that is to say that Farah is pretty much solely responsible for raising Sophia, so if she has a problem with her behavior, it could be because of, you know, how she was raised. And on top of everything else, Sophia is at a difficult age anyway, what with all the hormones that come with being a preteen girl, Farah brings that point up next in her rant, admitting, it's a lot to be 12, oh my gosh, hormones, oh my gosh, hair grows. Life is actually getting suckier, she concludes. It's unclear if she meant for that, life is getting suckier, part to be part of the, oh my gosh, hormones, bit. Like if that's part of how Sophia feels, or if that's just a summary of how she herself feels about things now, but regardless, what a mess, right? She told her that it's really embarrassing, but Farah obviously does not seem to care that much, it's just unfortunate, all of it, Farah really doesn't seem to see the major role she plays in all of this, or how inappropriate it is to talk trash about your 12 year old daughter to 2.5 million strange, hopefully Sophia manages to rise above all of this, this absolute nightmare of having Farah Abraham as a mother. Because right now, things are looking pretty darn bleak.